Yo, what's up? My mullet sharp here, and bringing you guys another vlog. And I really just want to do this, kind of give you guys uh, an update on what I'm doing tonight and what I've been doing the past couple days. Uh, if you guys have been tuning into my streams, I've been on my tourney grind, and we are actually on a three peat right now. We won the last three tourneys that we played, uh, and we are playing in four v four GB S and D tonight. Uh, so I will be streaming it at twitch.tv backslash sharp. The link will be down in the description. I usually upload a video letting you guys know I'm streaming, but um, so yeah, I've been I've been playing these GBS and D tourneys, been been winning those, been doing great in that. Uh, and also we we picked up John to our team. I thought I would do a video kind of announcing that. Uh, if you guys don't know, we we got rid of Dito. You know, he he left the team, he came back, and we decided to get rid of him. So uh, and we picked up John. And I'm looking right now, and I just got out of the shower, so my hair's wet. So before someone comments like, "Ooh, look how greasy Sharp's hair is," <laughs> um, I just got out of the shower, so. Uh, we we got rid of Dito because we were just like you know we kind of felt kind of sketchy having him on the team and uh, that we couldn't really trust him. I think I already explained this in a video uh, talking about how we dropped Dito, but uh, so we we picked up John. Uh, he's a pretty good pretty good player, pretty good pickup. I don't know if you guys know John. He was on Farico. Uh Probably to me, to me he's probably one of the best players in the game. Uh, the way he plays, you know, with his gun skill and stuff. Uh, so I, I'm really excited to have him on the team. Really happy that we got him, uh, and I think it will turn our game around. Uh, and hopefully he can help us in hardpoint and figure out what we're doing wrong there. So as far as our team goes and all this stuff, we haven't really been scrimming too much. My husband's sick, and like I said, I've been playing these tourneys. I need to I need to kind of cool it on those and start scrimming with the team because MLG Dallas is going to be in March. It's going to be March 15th to the 17th, and I believe Vonderhaar kind of dropped like a little. I don't. Saw him, I saw people tweeting that uh, it was announced, and then but then I seen Vonderhaar like someone said Vonderhaar tweeted. That it, it was just kind of like a hint that it was going to get announced, you know, like with all these people's support. I didn't even read the tweet. Uh, I just heard people in my stream saying, oh, MLG's officially been announced, blah, 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 for Black Ops 2. So I don't know. I, I probably should have researched that before I did a video on it. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if Sundance actually retweet, like, tweeted out a, uh official statement, whether it's been picked up or not. So um, as far as all that goes, I don't know. But. I'm pretty sure it's going to get picked up. Why wouldn't it? I mean, look at UMG. UMG was a success. They have Puckett commentating all these Call of Duty matches. He's talking about practicing, wanting to practice his Call of Duty game. So, obviously, they've told him something, you know, like, get your shit together if you want to commentate Call of Duty. Uh, so, we'll have to you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get picked up. So, get ready. March, there's going to be an MLG event, March 15th to the 17th. Get ready for all that. Uh, and then there will probably be some UMG events thrown in into the year, into the mix somewhere. Uh, so, those will always be good. Uh, so be sure you attend those. Uh, now, as far as last night, I want to talk about last night. We played in the 2v2 ICN s and It was me and Ricky. Uh, first, we played in the Weekly Warfare. We won that. Uh, and then we played in the ICN 2v2. And we were in semifinals versus Merc and Methods. And what happened is second map came around and I started getting hit offline. Uh, and it was just, it, it was really stupid. I, I got hit offline about 15 times. Uh, and then they started saying they were gonna make Ricky play one on two. Uh, so then I had to go to my brother's room and play on uh, like like a bigger TV and not use a headset and just all these different things. Like I was sitting far away from the TV, uh, and it was just all these different things. And people like uh, Methods tweeted after the game. He like tweeted his GGs, and I, I told him no. I was like no. Uh, and I think people kind of took that the wrong way. The way I meant it was is. Like, no one in, in playing in that game thought it was a good game. I mean, he was just tweeting GG's because, I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's a common courtesy to just tweet. I probably should just respond back, yeah, GG's, but, uh, you know, me and Methods are cool. It's not like I was talking shit to him when I was saying no. I was just like, no, that was not a good game. Like, no one thought, like, no one playing in that game would have would have normally said, you know, that's a good game. So I was just like, no, not a good game. And a lot of people started attacking me on Twitter, like, ooh, Sharp's butthead, he lost to Blessed Cthulhu. And that's one thing I, I really don't like about Twitter is it's like, a place where people can just freely attack you and you know I, I really really didn't say too much back to him I didn't like talk shit back to anyone I was just kind of like explaining what I was trying to say and people were telling me that it's not an excuse that you had to play on a 40 inch TV uh, and you had to use no headset and uh, you're playing on wireless internet and uh, it was just I, I probably shouldn't even argue with them uh, but what I, all, all I was trying to say is that when you play on a 23-inch TV, when I've been playing on that since 2009, and it's 2012, and I have to go play on a 40-inch, and I'm sitting like, I don't know how far away from the, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you how far away I was sitting, uh, and, and I'm not using a headset, 
and I'm just not in my natural environment. It's not. It, it was not a good game. It was not a fair game. It was not you know whatever. It, it was, and it wasn't. It wasn't like it was Merck or Method's fault. It was just I was getting hit offline by people, and I couldn't really do anything about it. So, um, it, I just, I don't know. I just didn't. I don't know. I, I probably should have just said good game to him and said whatever. But uh, I think people on Twitter just need to quit jumping on, just jumping on people and attacking people because. I get attacked on Twitter more than anything. Like, if I tweet anything, or say if I lose, if I win a match, I'll get people tweeting me. Like, like when, when I beat Scump in the in the S&D, like, I had people tweet me, like, yeah, good shit, yeah. Uh, beat those Optic fanboys, yeah, yeah, beat Optic, all this stuff. And, like, I don't think, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it's good, like, that people have fans, but uh, the fact that, like, people are tweeting me if I beat Scump, like, oh, F you, man, Scump's way better, F you, you suck, dude, you're terrible. Like, that, I don't, to me, that's just not right. I don't think people should... Uh, start attacking people like that, but then I guess, you know, it, it happens in everything, it happens in, like, professional sports, it happens in, uh, whatever there is, you know, if it's, if it's American Idol and their favorite, their, their singer loses, they probably tweet the other person, like, oh, you, you didn't deserve this shit, you suck dick, Ugh. but, I just wanted to do a quick little vlog, I mean, this wasn't really quick, it was like six minutes, but, explain to you guys, my tweets from last night, and, and all that stuff, and that, that I wasn't, I wasn't mad that I, I mean, I was mad that I lost, of course, I wasn't mad at Methods and Merck, uh, but I wasn't like tweeting them no it wasn't a good game because I was mad about losing I was tweeting them no it wasn't a good game because I was getting lag I lagged out 15 times because I was getting DDoS but um, and then I also wanted to tell you guys check out the tournament tonight be sure to watch all my streams uh, I, I do try to stream on the daily uh, and I will definitely keep doing vlogs and keep when I have little updates to give you guys I'll do vlogs for them uh, and tomorrow check out tomorrow's video I'm going to upload uh, in the morning I think I'll probably do a, a hard point setup video. So um, I'll, I'll go back and look at the comments of the last hard point video. It was on Yemen. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put that in the description. Go check it out. I tell you guys how to set up on hard point Yemen, all the places to hold, how to push the spawns, and all that. Uh, and if you, whatever map you want to see next, leave it in the comments of that video, and I will be sure to do a video on it. Uh, so as always, give this video a like if you guys like the video, and if you guys support me. And if you're not subscribed, then go ahead and subscribe. And as you always, it's your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.